All right, so a quick example on how to use voice meter banana with VR chat so that you can play music. Super simple. Look up voice meter banana. I'm sure you can find it. Download the program. That's all really you need. This is for Windows 11. So first things first, whenever you have it connected, make sure to go to your Steam. Boom, I have the index and then connect VR. So once you start up VR and you have everything loaded up, Start your OVR advanced settings at that point if you really do so. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. So once you start it, you'll come up with this whole little layout. Make sure you mimic everything that I have, except, oh, wait, except that. So make sure you mimic everything that I have. So A1, A1, B1, B1. Don't worry about this if you don't want to. This makes your voice lower because, you know, yeah. Anyway, so you'll go to hardware input one, press that. You'll find something that, for my case, it would say index. So WDM version, I don't think it really matters between these two. But this is what I do. So not this one, but it'll say uh, whatever the headset that you're using. So in this case, it would be my index. I'm not going to do it because it's going to prevent me from speaking. So it'll say index, press that one. A1, you'll also press the actual speaker, like your headset. So in this case, since I'm wearing my headphones, I would press this one if I want to hear audio through my headset. Um, but it would say index on here, use the WDM one. And then for A2, I use the MME one that has index on it. And then I'll press on that one. Once that's done, to actually play audio from like YouTube, for instance, uh, I believe at that point, actually, no, fuck that. So go to your settings, sound, in this case, since on Windows 11, you can press this, go to more volume settings, it'll bring you here. Change the output device to voice voice meter input. It's gonna be opposite, I know, but use voice meter input for the output device. For input device, use voice meter output. So it's gonna just be opposite of each other. Then, whenever you start up Google, or whatever you use, go to YouTube, press play on the audio, and while it's playing, this should show up. So if this shows up, press the little drop down, go to the def default, or sorry, go to the output device, and then go to voice meter aux input and click that, and then that's literally it. The only thing that you're changing, if you left this default, they would still hear the music, I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, no, no, sorry. If you use voice meter input and you try to play the music in the game, they're going to hear their self echo. They're going to hear their own voice. So what you have to use is the actual aux input for this option. Once that's done, make sure that this output device still shows voice meter input and input device uses voice meter output. Make sure that stays like that. If you're having or running into any issues, double check on these. I usually just leave it minimized. Also make sure that the B1 here is selected, A1, A1, B1, WDM, index, A1, WDM, index, A2, MME, index, or whatever your headset that you have on that you're going to be using. And that's literally it. Keep this open. Um, if you want to, go ahead and save the settings onto your desktop, like I did here. And if you ever want to load up your presets, you can set load settings on startup, and you can click on whatever file you have. Or you can just load the settings automatically from there, so you never have to keep clicking and doing all of this. But you, every time that you do have to click on these, I think you have to do it every time. These are the only things that are saved. I'm pretty sure, but if anything, just do it every single time. Saves you all the time and effort. But when you go in to actually get off the game and you're gonna have to reset reset your stuff, you're gonna have to go to menu, shut down, come to your settings, change these back to your normal speakers. So like in this case, your output device will be your headset and your input device will be your microphone for if you have a headset um, or if you have a TV monitor, whatever the hell you got. Um, but also, don't forget to go to Google Chrome, change your output device back to default so that you'll be able to listen to it through your actual headset uh, again. But you'll have to switch this back whenever you actually start over. And then once you get that done, then you should be good to go. That's really brief, really easy. Uh, for Discord, if you go to your Discord and then go down to your user settings, um, if you ever get into a call on Discord and you can't hear audio, but you can see yourself talking, you, what you really got to do is go to voice and video and then literally set these options right here. So you'll set for your input device, put it as voice meter output, output device, use voice meter input. And that'll allow you to talk in Discord at the same time while using um, 
VR chat to play music. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, in my case, I'm just going to move it back to default so I can speak again because I don't have voice meter input actually on right now. So that's pretty much it. That's how you listen to music on VR chat. Um, when you actually get onto VR chat, make sure you go to your sound settings and make sure it says voice meter output as your de device that you're using so that you can actually play the music that you're listening to from Google. Anyway, hopefully that's not too long. Thanks. Bye-bye.